Tony Torfesson testing Hearts goalkeeper Nicky Walker. The Icelandic striker's complaints about being held ignored by the referee. Next to try his luck against Walker was Paul Kinnaird. A good recovery and praise for the keeper from Steve Archibald. St Mirren maintained the pressure with Thomas Stickrot trying to force an opening from the congestion on the edge of the Hearts penalty area. Eventually he gets the ball to George Shaw who works a 1-2 with Archibald to set up a chance. Just wide and it's 0-0 at half time. Davy Hay took his seat for the second half hoping for a big improvement and his players did their best to give him a goal. From this free kick the header is by Archibald. Brian Martin's shot comes off Walker's legs and finally Paul Lambert shoots high and wide. Then a challenge on Archibald by Craig Levine led to the former Barcelona striker being sent off. He complains bitterly to referee Louis Thau about the challenge and having been yellow carded in the first half, this time the punishment is more severe. So Saints down to 10 men with the bulk of the second half still to come. Hearts immediately seized the initiative and Derek Ferguson had the first of two outstanding second half chances. But St Mirren showed determination despite being a man down. This stick rot cross causing Hearts all kinds of problems. And there was more trouble to come from the corner. The header wide from Brian Martin. Stick rot's influence continued with another probing run at the Hearts defence. In the end, the angle was just too difficult, but it didn't stop him having another attempt a few minutes later. The chance set up by Torfesson and Shaw. Safe goalkeeping though from Walker, and with the bench urging them on, Hearts created another wonderful opportunity, again falling to Ferguson. A poor finish then, Disappointment for Ferguson and for Joe Jordan. And for Davy Hay, lots to think about as he makes plans for the future.